Okay, so the rubrics of this activity would be the following. So, for organization of content, no, it's 20 points. The presentation skills, including the fluency, you know, how fluent you are in your um, presentation and explanation would be 20 points. And then, videography would be 10 points. Of course, I will be rating your videography. Kasi tagaan po ko ninyo video nga, jaga-jaga. Diba? So, it, it counts for 10 points. So, I don't need, actually, ka ng mga, na mga uh, uh, transition mura nag salida sa one. Just, if it is a clear video, the, 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 the your voice is clear. Basta, laban lang, may alagay po ka ng transition or sa panang mga introduction or sa panang mga edit-edit nila. Pero, ang tingo, gay, di ka rin kumakadungo, galabang hinaya. So, that would counts on the videography. Okay? Okay. Okay, so that's it. Now let's discuss non-representational and the abstract art. Now let us examine here whether or not non-representational and the abstract art bears some difference. Now if you recall in the discussion, Murag similar to Shadiba, so the question is, is there really, uh, really a difference no, between um, non-representational and abstract art? Okay, so in, um, in the question whether or not non-representational and abstract are the same, there is actually no clear-cut divide answer now. Because they exist in the same spectrum. One eh. This is what we call the spectrum. spectrum, diba? So when we say they exist in the same spectrum, it means that they are in a condition that is not limited to a specific set of values but can vary. Now, without steps across a continuum, which means that they are in one uh, one boundary, but they differ. Okay, that is why nay, they exist in one spectrum, but they vary within the same boundary. So if you are going to look at it, so nadiri ang non-representational, nadiri ang abstract, so they belong in one spectrum but of course they are not the same but they have very little differences they are not the same but they are not also of great difference but as basa ka ng color ng red no di ba na in in the color spectrum there are a lot of reds bloody red red orange what else but they are different, but they are not actually of great difference because they belong on the same spectrum, which is the red hue. No, so mona ibut pasabot po sa non-representational and abstract. Whether or not the, if if they are different, no, they are not the same, but they do not have a great difference. Okay. So, mona si ja ang buot pasabot. So, with that said, when art when an artist works in abstraction, no, they are actually distorting the view of a known thing, person, or place. For example, a landscape, no, could be easily um, abstracted. So, when you nakakaroon nga from representational to abstract nga landscape, pwede. Diba? From non-representational to abstract, using only shapes and colors, pwede. Pero, there is a minimum or very less negative, hindi uh, po negative, less, diba? Ano to ng less? Lesser than, yan na, you know, oh, lesser than, or less, less ra si siya, less ra yung siyang deference. Okay? So, muna siya.
Okay, so here's an example of ano sa tanang kuan ka ng uh, the difference or the, the 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 relationship. Let's not call it difference. The relationship na laman of abstract, representational, and non-representational. So, mag kasabotable naman po siya. Uy, tanawa. From representational, extreme, representation of the subject, non-representational, extreme, non-representation of object, and of course, the abstract in between. Okay? So, let's go back to the example. Let's find out if you're going, oh, you would be able to, na, di ba, nagid, ay, puno maka-answer da, John. Mahograg hapon nga, kung ma-answer, yung nga, ni. Duh. Okay? So, here is an example of a painting by Pablo Picasso, which is titled, Head of a Woman. Okay? So, looking at it, ang sa'yo yung tanawa na, representational, abstract, or non-representational. Hindi. Ang sa, ang sa. Sabi ako kadungog. Ngayon naman ko, very good. Tumpak, may tama ka. Basag mali. Basag mali po lang yung tobag. Never a joke. So, okay. So, this is an abstract. Di ba? Sure na jod. Sure na jod abstract ang tubag. Uh, let's see how it is rationalized. Okay. Looking at the combination of lines, shapes, and color of the sculpture or the painting, it will point to a head of a woman. So even with the abstraction of the image, this work is arguably representational. So, this, um, this image is representational. Nga naman. It still, uh, it still bears the subject, which is the head of a woman. But, in representing the subject, no, balik ha, this artwork is representational. Why? Because it has a subject. Non-representational has no subject. Diba? So, representational is si siya, but how does the object or the subject being represented? In a form of abstraction. The abstract ni siya, because this is not how the head of a woman would look like in real life. Diba? So, the abstract ni siya. Ibig dihimog, isang gi distort using lines, the shape, the mga curves, no? Sumana so, siya. Representational siya, but in an abstract representation of subject. So, if I am going to ask you in a quiz, in an exam, pohon, na ko ipakita nga picture, and then I'm going to ask you, okay, identify this work of art. According to classification of arts, when we say classification of arts, it belong whether or not it belongs to representational or non-representational. What about in aspect of presentation of or representation of the subject? So mo na ang katong realism, um, abstraction and distortion. Taghan na kajung hagbung ho ingan na kaya they were not able to. But I don't know. Wao ka sabot o ganong wao nila na kuha. Hindi po niyo arang daghan. Daghan, but not to the point nga almost ganang majority. Napoy, napoy. Daghan-daghan sila, but hindi po majority. Oy, ila na po nung fault nga wao. Pa, siguro nang tanas video. Ila na po. Ganun mo bag, ah, art trabito ni. Kulbaan. Ganyan ka po sa idogoan. Basta, Oh, bitaw, may inoran ni eh. Adyos, jaga-jaga kay muraranig 5 centavos. Nga di dyan matibuok ng piso o guay 5 centavos. Diba? Mm, ay na siya. Okay, so na gets na? Kay, I have a lot of exercises which speaks on this manner. Kaya mga iyayangan eh. Sa dyan naman. Sa dyan na raw dyan ka adyo. Okay? So, no fear. 
Let's face your fear. Anyway, let's continue. Oy, galangan lang nga. Mag is mom na is yung mga Gemini's. Okay, let's proceed with the sources and kind of subject. Okay, so I have said before. Um, okay, so declare. For non-representational art, a higher level of perceptiveness and insight might be required. No, to fully grasp the feeling, the emotion, the concept, or the, uh, the message behind the work. So, it needs a little bit of pondering, analysis, thinking, so muna dyan. For representational art, of course, it is easier to infer the subject uh, matter because the figures depicts, uh, I mean, depicted in the work or in the artwork, uh, there is already a suggestion as to its implication in re with respect to feelings, emotion, or concepts, or theory. So, as I have said before, let me say that to mga non-representational uh, artists, no? Because they are giving us hard time to understand what they are trying to put across in an artwork. But on the same level, also, it benefits us into exercising our prowess, Charot, prowess today. Your, your prowess to analyze a particular artwork. Now, the representational art is easier to understand. Of course, okay? Labi na of no alterations at all. Diba? Yeah, it's just a matter of taking the subject from reality and into the artwork. Murag copy, paste. Hmm, master ba mukha dyan ng copy, paste? Has the name, di copy, paste. Oh my God! So, I have a lot of output, no? Sa kanina subject. So, mga frustrate, gajun ko, uy, mag, oh, I just ko, man lang may a little bit of commitment. Mga output, copy, paste, hasta ang kama, period, o guban pang malang mananap. And then, finally, now, there's one incident, nga, hasta ang name, what na change, na tingan mo, di, akong gichatan, eh, akong duha man ni Mugi, kanang submit. So, so naman we submit, ma'am. Diyan kayo, kung pa man to, uh, delete pa man to modo lang kung gigamit. Kanang through uh, messenger o gmail, which is a uh, uh, very, kanang kapoy gayon siya. Kaya i-download pa na ho ang document. Dyan, it would, it, it happens nga, di nila pang butangan o ngan. kay Di ba inig email ni mo kay naman ay mong ngandi ha? Ano siya kayo download ni mo sa attachment? Maapil na lang nga ni mo o ka-download nga di man. Di ka po yung gusto ko yung ato. That's why di na kong musugot ka ron o delete model ang submission na bahala mga zeruhan. Di na kong sigpangita pa. Zeruhan, uy! O di mo submit sa model. Di ka po yung gusto ko yung ato sigpangita sa ilang. Nakasubmit na kami sa kanya. Yes, ma'am! Doon ka. Anay! Paano po ka ninyo yung submit? So, ma'am na. Pasensya ay nag-good yung tag-di kong sugot o di sa model. You have to ang mga why signal kinahang lang mangita kasi yung signal. Sa untaman nga. Ingani naman eh. Okay? So, going back to our topic. So, ma'am na sa. Representational is just a matter of taking the subject from the reality into the artwork. But, non-representational is a way to develop your analysis. It's just uh, an exercise of your brain. No? Okay. Kinahanglan po na itong ipang inat-inato na itong mga brain cells di ha. Kay basing mo strength. No? Okay. Now, non-representational artists exists. No? Because, as I've said before, there are people who are not into using obvious object to represent their feeling right um they are restricted with the creative uh, creativity no if they are going to use a uh, representational art form so if you can um or if you notice no mus murag daghan na dun ang more on abstract especially if the messages are sort of kaning ari sa mga politics bitaw o kakuan mana it's they are going to use abstract ay para murag indirect sagpa on the part of the politics nga nga na demo ka walang hiya okay so mo na siya okay moving on kay buwag na mo wa nay angay hinumduman charot bitaw Moving on, so we will have sources of subject. So, 
anything of particular can be a source of your subject. Even a piece of koan, kanang tissue paper. You can. Pwede kayo na siya. Anything in your environment. Diba? We have um, mentioned before in our dial that the environment is a good source of your music and art. And since you are part of the environment, you can become a subject as well. Now, these um, lists of sources of subject are just for academic purposes. We call it standard list of sources of subject. Morbag. Morbag. Kanang na kumangita ang sources of subject. Mawani siya ang imong guide. It serves as a guide. But then again, anything, anything of particular can be a source of subject. You are the artist, so you decide what kind of subject you are going to put into your artwork. So, manija. Uh, these are the sources of subject, possible sources of subject. For those nga maglisod jud og kanang kuan, money and hi sila kasagaran dagan, no? Maglisod og kanang nay create og subject. Kung kanang gusto gusto mag gusto mag representational ja maglisu sila usa sa iyong subject kung mo ni kasagaran ilang daganan the nature history the greek and roman mythology the judeo christian tradition the sacred oriental texts and other works of art so man as a sources of subject for the kinds of subject now this again this is also um for academic purposes so it will serve as your guide but technically you can have any no anything any that you can use as a subject. So, mana siya. History, still life, animals, figures, nature, landscape, seascape, city 